I want to preference this video by saying I don't usually do these type of article videos, but I had to. I just had to. So it was brought to my attention on my Discord that there is an article that came out called Instagram's Good Vibes Only Culture is Unhealthy. The World Needs More Cold Realists. Now, yes, Instagram's Good Vibes Only Culture, I don't know about that. But we're going to be talking about my good vibes culture and the way I perceive... The way people perceive good vibes and the and the aura of good vibes and just vibes in general differ with every person. You have somebody who talks about good vibes like, oh yeah, you know, I'm always happy, yeah, yeah, optimistic, woo. But the thing is, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Good vibes is also when you think about life and you, you're in the moment, you're, you have an optimistic ideal. But you also face and recognize where you're at right now. But you keep that level of optimism. You don't just go optimistic and not even care about and just delete what's going on in your and, and face value. Your world right now, you don't delete that. You go through what you're going through knowing that above that, there might be something better and there might be something good for you. Now, let's get into this article because it, it's it's something else, man. I don't understand it. All right, first off, seeing as many of Instagram are self-proclaimed life coaches nowadays, it's hard to score without investigating at least one inspirational quote from a positive thinking mo movement. But I'm left feeling anything but inspired. If there's one thing guaranteed to put me in a bad mood, it's the good vibes only culture. Good vibes only is just man up by some other name. Not true. Good vibe means you are living the best life you can live at this very mo moment, no matter how hard your life is. That's the good vibes. Good vibes doesn't mean you're actually in a good mood. It's the fact that you're taking your life in face value right now and realizing you're gonna be okay. That's my good vibes. I'm not in a good mood all the time, but I know during the darkest days and darkest times, I'm going to be okay. So I keep the good vibes. Plus, spreading positivity is never a bad thing. Okay? Okay, sorry. Here we go. Another way of telling us what to feel regardless of how we're feeling. Another instruction to bury the negative, hide in sadness, and ignore your emotions. Not true. You're not ignoring your emotions. You're just knowing your emotions can be beaten by the positivity of your own mind. People have sad days, but you can get through those sad days by thinking about what's to come. You can have those sad days and understand that you can become a better you no matter what position you're in. Research this week apparently found that optimist optimists live longer, but as with most of these studies, I remain skeptical, even if it's a bad, even if it's bad, uh, bad for my health, which is funny right there. Studies say that they live longer, but you're skeptical. So this whole article isn't even going to be about facts. This is just about your, your own opinion. Which I respect. I respect I respect whoever wrote this opinion. I, re I respect it. It's just you cannot put a, a headliner saying good vibe culture is unhealthy. You cannot say that if this is all based off of your initial thoughts. Or your own... Man, maybe I shouldn't be doing article stuff. Because I guess it is based off your own what your thoughts are. But no. It's, it's n banning negative thinking in the pursuit of happiness is counterproductive and dare I say delusional. Yet again, wrong. Because life doesn't work that way. We need negativity to build resilience, strength, and character. By its very definition, positivity would not exist without negative. Yes! Wait, what the fuck? You're literally, you're, 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 you're agreeing with me based off of what I said before I even read this article. Negativity is going to survive. There's always, if there's ever light, there's going to be shadows. You know, if there's always a dark tunnel, there's going to be light at the end. So the thing is, yes, negativity survives and you're not, you're not, people who actually believe that you can just, boop, negativity is gone, or boop, all that's gone, no. It's a fact that you know that the negativity is there and you can accept it and work with it is good vibes. It's not, it's not delusional. It's not banning negative thoughts. It's not banning negative thinking. It's taking those negative thoughts and trying to turn it into a positive with still knowing at that moment you are thinking of negative things. 
That's fine. Bad things happen, bad thoughts happen too. If we ignore their existence, we fail to develop the tools to deal with them in a healthy way. You're right. Don't ever try to ignore the existence, but deal with them is the same thing as... Wait, what the... Deal with them is the same thing as saying man up. Deal with it. Man up. That's the same thing. This guy is not making sense. He's saying we have to feel, develop tools to deal with them. We have to develop tools, which is the positive thinking to deal with, uh, with the negativity. So when winter comes, instead of shivering in the snow as we visualize and manifest warmer weather, we just put on a coat. Positivity has become consumable. Brands are capitalized on the feel-good phenomenon, and we are led to believe that products will further assist us on the journey to success. And there's some god awful inspirational quote written across it. No, yes, I do think a lot of things are, you know, super materialistic now. You know, you can you can slap on good vibes and somebody wears a shirt and that represents it. But, but, if a person wants to spread the good vibes by wearing a good vibes shirt, then I'll be damned if I take that as a negative attack or a negative thought from, towards that person. I wear my own merch. I wear my own 1,000 subscriber club merch. I do that shit because I'm proud of it. If you have somebody who is truly proud and understands what they're going through and their own pride and their own positive thinking and they want to wear it on a shirt, be okay with it. Don't be bad about it. Selling happiness is not a new concept. From the mid-20th century, advertisers sold the idea that you must look like this to be happy and successful, and we grew wise to their ways. But I now find myself being told I must think a certain way instead. Yet again, not true. You don't have to. You don't have to think a way. You don't have to feel the way somebody else feels. You don't have to. It's a guide. It's a tool to... to if, 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 if a single word... You hear some, from somebody and you take that as a tool to make yourself feel better, then it's okay. There is a distinction between having good mental health and being happy. Denying negative emotions is not healthy. Facts. Accepting their existence and defending the skills to be able to manage them is. Good vibes. No one can be happy all the time. We are constantly comparing ourselves to other people who falsely advertise our omni cheer online. Which, of course, is going to leave us feeling inadequate. Even the body positivity movement makes me feel like I should ecstatic about my thighs. I'm indifferent about them. And I'm, I'm fine with that. I get it. There are a lot of bad things happening in the world. And it can sometimes feel like too much to bear. But bad things do happen. Negative feelings just have valid as positive ones. Yes. Ignoring. You keep saying ignoring. No one's ignoring the negativity. We're just spreading the good vibes. Don't think about a sad puppy loss. We're just saying you can get through it with time. With time. Why? All this is just denying problems. The temporary fix feels here with nothing. I see endless conveying about of influence and pushing the idea that visualization and positive meditation are the tools required to get the job you want, the partner you want, even the sobbing pair of shoes you want. Maybe it's a northern thing, but there I'm from. If, okay, dude, you're not. You're not understanding. You're not understanding the fact that, yes, there are people who would spread it just for money gain. And there are people who would do it just for self-satisfaction. But there are people who truly want to make this a better life and make other people happy within minutes. I'm one of those people. So when I'm reading this article and you're bunching all of us together, it's, it's disgusting. Because it's not true. It's not true. We need people in our lives to challenge us, call us out, doubt our capabilities, so that we strive to do better. Every single person I love has that at some point robbed me of my peace, love, and happiness. That's what people do. How are you going to build healthy, stable relationships if you follow Insta spam, self help guides to cut people out all the time? Did you ever think that good vibes? Is just a conversation that you could be challenging one another. Did you ever think about that? You have somebody who talked about something super negative in a pessimistic way, but you have somebody who believes in good vibes and tells them a different perspective, a different way, and you guys can meet in the middle. Did you ever think about that? And I understand this article is more about like Instagram spams and stuff like that. Um, so it's not like I'm fully feeling like it's it's 
directed towards me. Obviously, it's not directed towards me. But the way I feel about good vibes. This is just not... This is just not right. I love cynics, pessimists, and skeptics. They are people who make me laugh and most and let me know it's okay to not feel okay all the time. They make me feel real, feel human. So wait, you tell me good vibes. Okay, okay. If somebody's sad and you go up and like, yo, good vibes only, good vibes only, like you can be better, be better, I don't care what happened. Now yes. But if you're actually there and you're trying to be a helpful human being, who also spreads good vibes and positivity, then it's fine. Let them be sad. Pat them on the head. Rub their shoulder. Give them a hug. Because you're spreading the good vibes. Without even saying a word. Give them a smile. And it makes people feel better. There was, there was um, uh, a, uh, what was it? Like a test. That people did. And it was about these people who like ran or bicycled for a long amount of time. Stopped. 30 seconds later ran like 5 miles more, right? But throughout that, they uh, the scientists gave them like pictures of people frowning and people smiling. Two different pictures. Now this is like subconscious. They didn't really fully understand. It was like a quick flick here and there, right? The people who saw the smiles and the cheers went on longer than the people who saw the frowning and the boos. And that's the thing. Just visualizing a frown or a smile makes people want to either be like, eh, I don't care. Or people be like, yes, like I want to make sure that they're smiling because I know I can smile too. And the thing is with good vibes with me, you tell me I can't do something, motherfucker, I'm going to prove you wrong. But that's still good vibes. This thing, this article is just very counterproductive in its own way of saying that you need to find tools to better yourself in a healthy way and not think of good vibes, even though good vibes is a tool. It's a tool. It's a meditation tool. It's a it's a positive visualization that you can you can use when you're depressed. It is. It's a tool. And you can't say it's not otherwise, because it is. It's it's a way to make yourself feel better. It's a tool. So that's my rant. This article, in my opinion, is not right in any way. If you're thinking about it and you're thinking if it's directly towards just people who shove good vibes down your throat, not even caring about who you are or how you what you're going with, then yes, I guess I agree with this, but you can't you you can't you can't just say good vibes. You can't just say good vibes culture cuz that's just wrong. That's just wrong. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this rant. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. You guys know the vibes. Good vibes only. And I'll see you guys next time.